Hey, what is up guys, LP here, and today we are on Banjo-Kazooie again, yeah, uh, part 10 I believe, uh, part 10? But, right, so the last time I actually recorded footage for this game was like the 6th of August, or like the 10th of August, somewhere around there. Um, to give you a good, um, yeah. It's been a while. Yes, uh, so, anyway. We're off the Bubble Gloop Swamp Fuck, I remember, so I'm going the wrong way. Great start already. Uh, I should have really just entered the level, but oh well. Oh, God, I'm rusty. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm used to GTA 5 controls, you see, so if I'm doing. Any, if I do crap, then that's my excuse. Okay, so, uh, going back to the other episodes, we were watching. Uh, I think the last episode I might have recorded it post uh, capture. I'm not sure. I recorded the audio, po audio post capture. I'm not sure. Uh, but last uh, time we're talking about uh, Breaking Bad and movies and stuff. Um, so yeah, Breaking Bad was good. On to some other stuff. Okay, keep your. Okay, yeah, we've nearly got all the moves. Uh, and this one's really easy to find. I just want to kill this damn frog. You know what? Screw the frog. Right, okay, now this is the waddly boot things. Chicken legs. So you can safely through a swamp with the fur. Okay, chicken, uh, it's Kazooie. Let's go grab a pair of. Great, now you know all the swamp's new moves. Yay! They could have at least, like, I don't know, uh, separated the. spread the moves out a little bit, but then again, there's not enough levels to spread every move across, and then you wouldn't have much time for each move. Some of the moves are completely pointless. Um, I don't know why I'm going around rolling when I could go around on chicken legs. Is chicken legs. Um, right. Yeah, so for those of you who have been watching my other parts, um, I said that I would try and start to upload more than two a week, and I say that like, stuff comes up during the time. Yeah, so I work a normal um, 9 to 5 shift. Well, 8.30 to 5.30. How do you get out of these? Okay, that's it. X to get out of boots, man. And gee. Um, so, I... Oh, what the hell? The camera's gone a wonky doola. There we go. Yeah, so I don't get back uh, back home for, uh, till about 6 o'clock-ish. Then I get in, have some dinner. And then just go on my PC, and then once I've like done everything that I wanted to on the PC, then I start playing the console or go out or whatever. Um, and I work as a data analyst, a human resources. Oh shit, human resources data analyst. So um, I don't know if I'm I'm able to talk about what I do because I had to sign an NDA when I started my job. Uh, and for those of you who don't know what an NDA is, it's a non-disclosure agreement where you can't talk about things, um, certain things, depending on what you signed. I can't remember what I signed, but I'm pretty sure it's to disclo oh crap, just not to disclose stuff like data and stuff we handle. But uh, where are we going now? Yeah. Did I feed that? Yeah, okay. Okay. So... I usually do this in an order. Crap! Get bitten by piranhas that you can't even see. Uh, okay, that's the put. There we go, there I am. Yeah, so like I said, I work as a day analyst. Uh, and uh, people always ask me, like, oh, what do you do? And I, I try and say it in layman's terms because I can't be to go into full detail because uh, a lot of people get confused. So I just try and uh, explain it, like, very briefly. 
and then they're like, oh, okay, so you do this. I'm like, no, I don't do that. That's not what I do. They're like, oh, I'll explain it. So then I go to the full detail, and then they still don't understand what I do. So I just don't tell people what I do anymore. I just say, yeah, I analyze data. That's that's the easiest way to put it. Um, right, let's, uh, no, you did. Come on, I thought this was Banjo 2 for a minute, because then if you press X when you're standing still, you would, like, poke your eyes out. Um, I should have got. Uh, screw the leaf. We don't need a leaf. Hey, more Mumbo tokens. Man, I've got quite a few. I thought this was the area where it was the, the golden frogs. You bitch! Whoa, I'm not gonna die here. What the hell? These things! You gotta be kidding. <gasps> no, I'm not dying! I can't be beaten by a frog! There we are. I got a bit too cocky there with the piranhas in the swamp, thinking that I was invincible, and that I wouldn't need uh, the wellies. So, yes. For those who are just joining, I'm doing a 100% walkthrough. That means every single thing down to the last Mumbo token. Okay, not the last Mumbo token, but. Because Mumbo tokens are uh, annoying and. I, I, it doesn't have a total. I'm pretty sure it doesn't have a total for the Mumbo tokens to tell you how many you've got. So, I can't love to look on a guide because I'm not using guides. I'm doing this all from memory here because. I play this a lot. Well, I used to play this a lot. Now, not so much. Ugh, an ugly, hairy trespasser. He's after our gold, but he'll never beat us all. Uh -huh. Whoa! Oh god. Bad decision. Let's go Super Saiyan. Yes. That got us some health. That killed some of the froggies. They're really annoying to hit because they just... You son of a bitch. There you go, they're stunt. No, they don't stun. Come on! <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna slay something in a minute and it's not gonna be these frogs. There we go, one more. I don't think anyone uses that standstill X, B, whatever it was in Nintendo. Blub, you're too tough for us flibbits. You're freaking annoying as well! You're a flibbit. Let's, uh. Yeah, we'll just go down here. Do the, uh. Crap. Why the hell did I do that? Do the mumbo stuff last. That's the longest bit. We'll just do all the extras in between. Aruni. Right. So yeah, I finished GTA 5 now. Um, I finished it a while ago, actually. Yeah. Excuse me. Um, yeah. This this was the first GTA game that I haven't skipped the cutscenes, and it was the first GTA game where I actually liked the characters and the story. Um, I hated the I hated. Um, Fucking Nico. That's why I just skipped the uh, damn cutscenes in GTA 4 because I couldn't care less for Nico or his cousin. And, and looking back at GTA 4 now, if you look at the art style, it just looks so washed out. Like the graphics just look so washed out and ugly. I mean, they looked ugly back then anyway, but some of the textures are just so horrid. They make me want to throw up. If I was Vic Mignana. Um where are the damn wellies? There should be some at the back of here? Yes. But I don't think you can Oh yeah, that's it. You can't get those down there until you're the crocodile man, or unless you have Oh my life. Or unless you have a uh 